This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Jackson County Prosecutor Jerry Jarsinka said a man was bound over to circuit court on charges. Ronte Del Grady was bound over on charges of discharging a firearm in or at a building causing injury, carrying a concealed weapon, carrying a dangerous weapon with unlawful intent, possession of a firearm as a felon, possession of ammunition by a felon, assault with a deadly weapon, and felony firearm. A circuit court pretrial will be scheduled before Circuit Court Judge Thomas D. Wilson. Lawyers from the Michigan Attorney General's Office will be making arguments today in front of the state Supreme Court. The justices will consider whether or not Republican lawmakers violated Michigan's Constitution last year when they approved and then weakened minimum wage and paid sick leave initiatives. The state Supreme Court required the Attorney General's Office to file briefs and they will make arguments for and against the measure. The state Supreme Court is not obligated to issue an advisory opinion and justices began hearing arguments on July 17th at 9.30 a.m. Low visibility, road conditions, and speed appear to be contributing factors in a large pileup that closed part of westbound 996 in Livingston County. Michigan State Police said an initial crash was reported at 7.30 p.m. near Kensington Road and involved about 30 vehicles. As traffic was backing up from another crash, another six crashes occurred with two to three vehicles in each. Six people were, were transported to the hospital with minor injuries, state police said. For this month's Fox 47 News Yes Squad event, we're partnering with the Greater Lansing Food Bank to collect non-perishable food. Food may be dropped off at the Fox 47 News business office at 600 West St. Joseph in Lansing from 8 to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And we've got a full list of all the needed items on the Fox 47 News website. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on Fox 47 News dot com.